Hi everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about a very exciting thing called the 10 by 10 challenge. If you've never heard of it, it is where you take 10 items of clothing and make 10 outfits over the span of 10 days. It was started by blogger Lee Vosberg of stylebee.ca and I believe she's from Guelph, so she's from around southern Ontario, so go local babe. Um, she decided to do this challenge and challenge other people to just really look at what's in your closet and really look at what you're wearing. So the rules are you pick 10 articles of clothing, including shoes, and you make 10 outfits. And you can accessorize with whatever you want, as many items as you want. So hats, belts, jewelry, etc. Accessories are fair game. So I'm here today to talk to you about what I've chosen and where I got it and... Yeah, at the very end of this, I'm going to have a lookbook and just share my thoughts on how what this challenge means to me and what I got from it. Um, I decided to take part in it just to see, just to have like a fun styling challenge, just to like try to figure out a new way to wear something. And I also really want my children, I have two little girls, to have capsule collections because I just feel really overwhelmed with laundry. And we just, sometimes we just don't need all of this clothing. So here we are. I will start with um, the shirts that I'm going to wear right here. The first item is this really beautiful lace blouse from the French brand Saison. I got this in New York um, and showed it to you in my New York haul uh, video, which I can link below. What I love so much about this blouse is, first of all, the color. It's very um, neutral and it goes with everything. I also have worn it a million times, including date nights. So when I was considering this challenge, I considered um, the events I was going to and what was going to happen within the next 10 days. My husband and I go on date nights every week and we're also going for an overnight away trip next weekend. So I will definitely get good use of this and it is very versatile and very pretty and I just love wearing it. I feel good wearing it. So this had to be a part of my challenge. This item should come as no surprise to all of you who know me well. I love stripes. I have so many striped shirts. And I don't know, there, there's just something about this pattern that is just so versatile and so classic that I had to include this shirt in it. This is a very stretchy, almost ribbed um, shirt. It's from Pieces. I got this when we were in Copenhagen. This is so random. I got this in, when we were in Copenhagen in this one store because I needed something that was long and would fit over my pregnant belly at the time when I was pregnant with um, Poppy, my one and a half year old. So that for some reason, this is just one of my favorite shirts and I got it on a whim and I was very lucky to find it and I just absolutely love it. I've had it for, yeah, almost two years now. Can't wait to show you how I'm styling this one. This is one of my more recent favorite pieces and it is from Airy, which is the Intimates brand um, based out of American Eagle. And it is, it's honestly just the plain sweatshirt, but it has this really, really, really pretty detail on the sleeve. And I have this in three colors. I have this in this blush, um, a red and this kind of like Toby brown color, which I absolutely love. I wear this all the time and I absolutely love it. So I am excited to show you how to dress it up, dress it down and accessorize a uh, plain old sweatshirt with just this nice little detail. My fourth item is my trusty little jumpsuit, which is from Oaken Fort, a Canadian brand, but you can also find it in states, in the states, so you can shop online for it in North America. Um, this is just a lovely, it's polyester, so it's pretty durable, um, and it's like wrinkle free if you want to pack it away. But it has this elastic back, and it's apron style, so you can layer it really well, and it has a culotte um, leg. Um, I'll post pictures of how I've worn it on Instagram before. I absolutely love this uh, jumpsuit and I have found about three different ways to style it, which I'm really excited to show you. Again, this challenge is really fun because it makes you just really work on how to freshen up your pieces through um, styling it in different ways and adding different accessories. So really excited to show you um, how I've styled this in a different way. On to pants. I have two pairs of pants to show you. And one of them are my favorite jeans from Old Navy. These are the Rockstar High Rise Petite Jeans. And they are what I wear basically every day. I don't have a lot of jeans. I have three pairs of jeans. I have, I just have a couple different sizes as I've lost my baby weight, but I have these Old Navy Rockstar jeans in this color and in black. And then I have a pair from H&M that are like high waist stretch, like straight leg. So this makes sense to come 
So this makes sense to have in this challenge. I have, I love these. I think they're super flattering and they're on, again, they're in like a lot of my Instagrams because I just find them a good classic and an affordable classic. So if you're looking for a high waist classic jean that will go with everything, these ones are the ones to get. Another item from my New York haul is these, are these, mango pants. So if you've never heard of Mango, it's just another store. It's based out of Barcelona, I believe, and it's similar to Zara in that it has a lot of really trendy pieces. Um, but it's just a lot of a lot smaller, um, but very similar concept. So I bought these checked pants after seeing um, a couple people style it really nicely when I was in New York. So I was really inspired by the street style there, and I absolutely love these. They are high waisted, and they have this elastic, so they're super comfy. I can wear them all day with my kids running around and I just find them very flattering. They look a little grandpa right now, but you know what? Just wait until I style them and I think I think you will like these. I was surprised that I included these in this 10 by 10 challenge because they are checkered and you wouldn't think a lot goes with them. Um, and wearing pattern pants can be a little intimidating, especially for me, these are my first pair of um, checkered pants, of pattern pants, but I'm constantly surprised on how well they go with almost everything in my closet. So. Very excited to show you how I style these. Next up is my favorite category, coats. If you have watched any of my vlogs, you know that I love coats and that I broke our entrance um, coat hanger, which we still haven't fixed um, from putting too many coats on it. First is my mustard coat, and it's called a store, it's from a store called Promon. Again, when I was in Barcelona, I got this coat, um, and it is a wool blend, and it's from this really cute, yeah, store called Promod. And that's basically all I, all I know. I just walked into the store and I said, this is super cute. I bought it and I've worn it so much. I love this color on me. I think it looks great on brunettes. And even though it's a bright color, I found so many different ways to wear it for this 10 by 10 challenge. So I'll show you how to style this in a bunch of different ways. And hopefully it will inspire you to buy a statement coat that you've been haunting, that's been haunting you, that you love. My second coat is my cocoon coat from Aritzia. Uh, again, if you've been following my blog, this coat was my reward for my running challenge. I ran every day for three months, and my reward at the end was a fashion reward, and I got a lot from it other than the, the fashion aspect. I, I'll link the blog post for that below, but I absolutely love this coat, and I got it secondhand. I got it new at a consignment store. It was behind the counter, and the buttons hadn't even been released, so no one had worn it, and it was just the find of my year, I think. And I wear it all the time. It's a very, very long length, so it actually keeps me warm. Um, and this is what I usually wear for date nights. So I uh, absolutely love it. It's very versatile, it's very flattering, and it goes with absolutely everything. My last coat is from Oakenfort again. So I have two items in here from Oakenfort, and I really love this brand. I think their items are just very interesting. Um, and they do the trends, but in a, like, a non-typical way. So this is a checkered coat. But it's almost, again, I don't know, maybe I have a grandpa style in me, but it, it's like a masculine style and it's actually considered unisex, I believe, in their line. I don't think they sell it anymore, but look, at, look out for it, um, a similar style for the spring. Um, but I, I, I wear this with absolutely everything. And again, this is a checkered coat, so it has a pattern. But um, I wear it with absolutely everything and I like mixing prints, so I think this works with like almost everything in my wardrobe. Um, I'm excited to show you this and everything else. My 10th item is my pair of shoes from Everlane. This should come as no surprise. I actually talk about this all the time in all my other videos, so I won't talk too much about it. And this was just a no-brainer. Like, I absolutely love these. They go with absolutely everything. They're amazing quality, and I wear them every day, so I absolutely love them. I don't have all of my accessories picked out, but right now, um, I will show you what I have in mind for a couple items. So this is my pink toque from Erie. And this is the one where the palm comes off. It snaps off. I'm not sure if they still have this in store. It might be in clearance online. Again, I'll link to all of these below. This is a hat that I got at Urban Outfitters like years and years ago. Absolutely love it. And then I have two berets, one gray and one white. Um, bags that I have in mind for this challenge are the my Pixie and Mood convertible backpack. So what this is is um, a backpack that is also a shoulder bag. So you can have the strap long, 
where you can pull it through to be a backpack. I love this. It is so nice. I have, again, a couple pictures from Instagram that I could show you of me styling it. And it is just a really good bag. All my kids' stuff can fit in it. And I use it all the time. And another um, bag that I will be using is also a backpack shoulder bag. Um, and it is inspired by um, a very famous, like, Chloe brand bag, backpack bag. I don't remember the name. I want to say Chloe Nile, but I don't know if that's right. Anyway, um... It has this like really lovely details. I love the tassels, I love the ring. It's easy to get in and out of. <laughs> it's easy to get in and out of. <laughs> um, and again, all my kids stuff in here. I have diapers in here and wipes and an extra pair of pants for my toddler who we're pottery training. And yeah, this is just one of my go-tos. And those are the items I've chosen. Ah, I'm excited about this. I'm going to do a lookbook video at the very end um, of this challenge in the 10 days. So if you are interested in seeing that, please sign up because I'm going to send it to my subscribers first. And wish me luck. I'm nervous about this because I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I hope everything suits my lifestyle. Again, as a stay-at-home mom, I you get dirty from your kids, you know. They get themselves dirty, they get you dirty, they get your whole house dirty. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if the laundry situation is going to be good. We'll see. And yeah, connect, like this video and say hi. Wish me luck. I might need it. <laughs>